Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, oh. Adam C and welcome back to Rufford Ford. A lot of you enjoyed the videos of car spotting by a puddle, so we're doing it again. It does say the road's closed ahead, but apparently it's not, it's fine, so we might get quite a few people here. And the Ford is very deep today because we've had rainfall. Our first wader is a sensible Mercedes, creating the first splash of the day. Oh wow, that is, that is deeper than it was last time. Oh, what? He went too fast. That is not a good sign. Oh look, he's bringing his children through the Ford in the Jeep. All of that's on the dashboard too. That is what's inside his car and he is completed as a skeleton in the back. Luckily it's not a skeleton of a car because it's made it. Oh, this is the first relatively normal sized car going through. A little Toyota Igo. You can see how deep it is compared to last time. Oh, keep the revs high. Done it! Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She hasn't given much confidence to the Audi. He's like, nah, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> this BMW is surely not going to try it. No, no, he's parking up. He's got a bit of sense. Also look at the number plate graveyard. It's been collected recently, so we've only got two plates, well, one and a half, and only tiny bits of trim, like this. And a Tesla badge. Come on, the new Defender has to go through. It's built for this. Yeah, they're smiling. They're going to do it. They're loving it. The kid's asleep in the back. He's now awake in the back. There we go. Absolutely nailed it. We've got a trailer coming through. A little bit quicker than some of the rest. <laughs> What's he got there? Some, some wooden filings. Oh, look. <laughs> it's flooded. Oh, he's got his shorts wet. Oh, no. As long as they keep slow, they'll be fine. But you can see how deep it is when a regular car goes in. <laughs> <laughs> Excellently done. I love how the number plate already says SOS, almost preempting what's going to happen, but no, he's taking it easy. With a smile on his face, almost looks like they're floating through. Hello, Adam. Hello. <laughs> well, he's getting out to have a look at it properly. He's letting them know whether it's possible or not. Let's see. Good convincing skills. Oh, you don't want to stop. Yeah, the racing brakes are steamy already from their track day they've just been on. They've dipped their toes in. It's good enough for us. The fiver, I'll get my mate to ride through it. They look horrified in the Lexus. The dog's excited though in the back. You can tell they're being encouraged by the dog to go through and she's like, no, look, they're filming. What are you filming? The thing is, you buy a car as high as that and you don't want to drive. Oh no, they're going through. They're just going very, very slowly. It's about 10 revolutions per minute. The dog's watching their fate as it unfolds. The blue Lexus badge is definitely helping them. Blue being the colour of water. They are being one with the water. The dog definitely looks worried in the back. <laughs> why, why are we floating? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a hybrid. It's fine. It was driving an electric... Oh, wow! You saw the water spit out through the exhaust as the combustion engine kicked in. You've got the local wives club now planning their way. Surely not. We're not going to have a starlet go through. No, that, that would just die. I would not... I would not recommend the starlet. No, no, the passenger's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the course has nailed it and hopefully not dive. Oh dear. I mean, that, that's a telltale sign to maybe not do it in the Starlet. You're going to have to open the door now. Oh no. Oh dear. None of us want to get our toes wet. <laughs> Teddy bear to the rescue. Oh, it's an upside down doll is going to tow the Corsa out. Oh no, I wouldn't in your MX-5 after seeing what's happening. Corsa being towed out. Of course he wouldn't give that a go. The MX-5 looks like he wants to have a go. Oh, the exhaust is doing a wee. If that's not a sign for the MX-5 not to have a go, I don't know what is. Send it. Or, or just send it. No. <laughs> oh, wow. 
I don't think it's an off-roading car, though it looks like a rally car. Fiesta with its spotlights came hooning down the road, pricks up our ears, no, he's not going to go through in that. Surely, oh look, another red Corsa. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> oh dear. There it is. He's not slowing down. Oh no, he's put the brakes on the Land Cruise at the last minute. Yeah, I'm glad that survived because that was quite a big splash. Did it have a number plate when it came last? The first number plate casualty of the day. If you don't go in with a number plate, you're not going to lose it. We have another trailer making its way through. All eight wheels will be submerged. They will probably be completely submerged. <laughs> Not a lot of splashing today, fortunately for these guys. Hmm, what are we thinking? No, no, oh, we could see the cogs turning in his mind there. It's like, oh, nah. Now after that, oh, the Audi's made a bit of a splash. Oh, don't say it's died already. No, 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 it's just uh, died a little bit. That's that's a dead car, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's not gone well. Oh, he's going to have to open the door now. Wait, what's, what is that? Is that his under tray? That is an under tray. There we go. He's having to climb out now. It is pretty awkward when all eyes are on him and he's having he's taking his shoes off and he's going in. Oh, there we go. He's now moist. There we go. He's being offered a tow. So we have another Jeep to the rescue this time. So I think we've managed to release the parking brake from the Audi. So the Jeep is going to slowly tow outside. Oh, no, that the parking brake is still on. So the rear wheel are being dragged. Yeah, that's that's what's happened. So they've just got to go for it. Look, the rear wheels are just being dragged because it's hard to take the parking brake off. They've made a little water feature out the side of the car. That's an optional extra. It's like five grand from Audi normally. We are dragging the Audi now. Um, it's basically a skid is what's happening right now. That's how they do it in Tokyo, in case you didn't know. What a sight that is see the Audi pulled sideways with its locked rear wheels. Oh yes, they've released it. That's better. So we're now parallel parking the Audi without the engine running. They don't teach this in your driving test. <laughs> Everyone's come up to watch what's going on. Oh, Mazda's gone in a bit hot. Oh dear. Well, the Mazda survived. That's good marketing for Mazda there. So the next two candidates, we've got a fairly modern Ford Ranger and then an old Range Rover behind. They've been waiting for their time, so they're going to make a splash. <laughs> Everyone just stood back. Well, Range Rover's next. <laughs> That's why I'm stood here. Oh, this can only end well. Volkswagen Golf. A little bit speedy there. Um, might actually get away with it because it went over the bonnet, but no, that sounds fine. Ah, oh, the number plate! The number plate's gone! And the car is still driving. No, 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 it's died. Yeah. It was quite predictable. Oh, not the little Fiesta. Oh, it <laughs> stops right at the edge. Oh, it's going to take like an hour to drive for at that speed. Oh, that's a bit quick. A little bit too quick. Oh, 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 she floated. Oh, no. It's a floater. It is a floater. She's still floating. How is she still floating? Oh, she's upset. She's still floating. She doesn't know what to do. So this time, instead of a Jeep, we have an Isuzu coming into the rescue. We can't part there, mate. Oh, look, someone's wearing shorts. That's perfect. So we're giving her all the help she needs on how to be towed. We're going to tow the car out of the way to a safe location. Is this a good place to stand, just in case that suddenly comes off the tow? No, it's fine. There we go, the little Fiesta rescued. Next up, we've got the Range Rover passing through. No bother for him. And next, another Range Rover. Wipers on, understandably. <laughs> Range Rovers are good at this. The uh, Audi guy is now using a water bottle to get rid of the water from the footwells of his Audi. Oh dear, DS3 dear, is going in a bit too hot again, and that is catastrophic already. Has it died? No, it's still going so far. It's struggling. It's... How is it surviving? Yes! 
Yes, the Citroen. That is a good advert for, for DS and the build quality and waterproofness of their engines. And it had, oh, did it white wheel the world? The Hyundai is being a bit more cautious. Maybe it was the white wheel. So futuristic. <laughs> oh, look, <he's laughs> Very good. Costing of the day, well done. We've got another trader going through with a, a steamroller. He's giving the steamroller a wash. Steaming through. He needs a wash. Yeah, the Mitsubishi needs a wash, so he's going to go through at speed. Oh. Oh. Was it worth? No. That was an expensive bath. Oh, it's. No, no. No. Wouldn't drink out of that. Oh, bit of an audience. Oh, he's starting it in gear now, so it's moving forwards a little bit each time. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh I piece all the poor fish. There we go. Goodbye to the Mitsubishi. Oh no. Oh dear. That's the splash of the day. Oh. Oh, no, no, the passenger's horrified. Oh, it's, it's floating a little bit. So we got the landy to the rescue this time. So we're going to tow the car out backwards from its tow bar, and this guy's going to do it. Can't even see it. Don't fall. Got it. Here we go. Yeah, you're doing it. Whee! Going back out the way. The passenger is so embarrassed. <laughs> Oh, he's doing a U-turn in the Ford. Haven't seen that before. Hey, what a hero. Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot about the water. <laughs> oh, it's in the boots. I wore good shoes and it didn't work. Well, Defender's next. Well, we know you can't kill a Hilux, so he's going to have no issues. Look, it even says invincible on the back. And that is proving to be true. Yeah, that was fortunate. Are we in the splash zone or are we safe? Oh, we're going to find out. There we go. That wasn't as big a splash as I thought. He's created some waves, like the Pacific. Now, I wouldn't go through with the Seat, personally. Um, they're just going to park there and get a photo shoot with it, aren't they? They're going to stop there and then get out and take some pictures. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a photo shoot. Look, his mate's getting pictures of it. He's putting it, he's airing it down. It's a car at the watering hole. So when he accidentally selects first instead of reverse. Oh, what does Sangyong do? Are Sangyong good at, well, we will never know because they've bailed. Look, they're laughing. He's like, is it possible for a Sangyong? I don't know, we've never seen one. They're giving him instructions as to how to do it. He's already halfway and he might as well send, well, not send it, but just continue at a slow speed. No, bailed. L plates on the Freelander. Um, he's learning how to afford a Ford, and it's sketchy. Success! Let's see how high their IQ actually is. Oh yeah! Oh, they've got high IQ because they've decided against it. Go on, Rangy. Yeah, you got an applause. Oh no, that, that was a wedding. <laughs> well done! Don't do it! Oh, it's too late now. They've, they've married now. They are wed. Idiots. Man. The Vauxhall's going for it! Oh! We've seen that happen all too many times. Oh dear. Oh dear. Don't start it again! Oh. Don't start it! Stop! Oh! That was a knock. That was a knock. That is now. The car's now 5 HP, 5 human power. <laughs> We're going to push it out of the way, take the air filter out and see what we can do. I say we, I mean they. They're asking people if it's possible. They're telling him it is. Send it, send it, send it. Look, the kids are like... Kids are giving him up. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's gone completely. We're going to see that floating back afterwards. Get down the water and get it! You're now illegal. Now, this mini did go in earlier. Is he going to have another go? Yes. Now, slow and steady wins the race here. Oh, wait, listen to the bubbling. 
Yeah, he's done it. See, you can do it in a minute, you can do it in a Lambo. Bring your Lambo down. He's going to give it another go. Oh, he's in, he thinks it's shallower this side, I think. <laughs> so let's see how far the water gets up. So it hasn't actually entered the mouth. That's entering the mouth. It's a little bit speedier this time, but he's nailed it. It is a risk. That's a risk. That's a risk. <laughs> But that was pretty much it for part one here at Rufford Ford. But make sure you hit that bell when you subscribe because there will be a second part. It's a long day here. We're here from nine till five. It's like a, a working hours day. It's pretty good. So let me know in the comments what you think about these videos from the Ford. It's quite far away from me, but a lot of you seem to enjoy it. Unfortunate about some of the cars that have failed. They went a bit too fast. That's the main issue. Speed is the issue. So let's see what happens in part two. I look forward to sharing that video with you. But for now, thanks for watching.